Let's begin by opening the uh, Create Template application. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go over to the Active Template and you'll look under the tree under Classification and you can see here that everything is set to None. So what this tells us is right now uh, there are no classification properties uh, set on any of our templates or components. So let's go back over to our library and let's go to a particular uh, template. Now the first thing we can do is we can come in and uh, select a particular uh, component or particular end condition and we can edit that and you'll notice you've got this classification button. Now this allows you to manually add classifications to any particular item. So for example, I could come down here and set this to roadside, toggle on the fact that it's surface grade and say apply. And now if I come back over to the uh, active template, you'll notice under classifications, you've got this, it's been added to the left roadside. So that's one thing you can do. Obviously, uh, we want to be more efficient than that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first take a look at our, we've noticed we've added all the ability to edit the classification rules, apply the classifications to a template, or apply a classifications to a library. So if you want to edit the rules here, uh, you can just pop this open. Uh, this allows you, for example, to define uh, certain uh, filters to define a traffic lane and others. Um, and you can feel free to do that. Uh, let's also go back in. Once we've got those set up, uh, then we can come in here, for example, our uh, original four lane divided, and let's go in and apply the classifications to this particular uh, template. So we're going to say OK. And now if I come in here, and for example, if I go to one of these, you'll see that this has been set as a uh, median. If I come over here and select one of these right here, you'll see they've been set as uh, roadside automatically. Now once the properties are on the template, uh, they will of course transfer automatically to our um, to our uh, corridor. So let's go ahead and create a corridor. Um, we'll just uh, uh, we'll select the, uh, make sure we've got that PGL, that four lane crown PGL set. We'll say OK. We'll just Alt to the beginning, Alt to the end, and we will uh, process that in. OK. Let's go over and open our 3D view here, which will make it a little bit easier to select our components. So let's go over here and select this end condition. And uh, when we do that, you'll notice now the classification properties were automatically inherited uh, into our uh, model. You can see this is a roadside surface grade. If I come over and select this, you can see this is a shoulder. And then you can see this area here is part of our roadway plateau.